Hola, ¿qué tal amigos de Hoy Los Ángeles? Eh, punto com. Bueno, pues estamos aquí con una invitada muy especial, que es Alex Morgan, la flamante jugadora eh, del año de la CONCACAF, campeona también en Londres 2012, y bueno, pues nos va a estar compartiendo un poquito sobre su punto de vista. Hay un torneo muy especial, eh, amateur, eh, que, se, que se viene, hay registraciones muy pronto. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about um, this uh, uh, tournament? Yeah, this tournament um, hosted by Coca-Cola is called Copa Coca-Cola, and it's a youth national tournament and going to be played in 10 major cities around the U.S. Um, for teenagers ages 13 through 15, and there will be a, the final in Los Angeles um, for both girls and boys. I think it's great that all these young players have this opportunity to um, make it to Los Angeles, play in a final. Um, just get a lot of um, a lot of practice on the field um, and also build new friendships with people and continue um, just continue playing the game of soccer and at the end of this the the champions both boys and girls are entered into a chance to win um, a trip to Brazil for free and play in a soccer camp during the World Cup in Brazil. En este en este año bueno fue seleccionada como la jugadora del año de la CONCACAF ¿Qué tan, eh, ¿Cómo te sentiste de recibir este reconocimiento? Well, I was definitely um, surprised because this was the first year that CONCACAF announced um, the male and female player of the year. This is the first time they've had this award. And second, I thought that there were so many players that did so well this year in the NWSL with the national team. And so it was a great honor um, to receive this year, definitely. Alex, eh, se viene el Mundial. Estados Unidos está en un grupo muy difícil, uh -huh. eh, está pues con Alemania, Ghana y Portugal de Cristiano Ronaldo. Eh, ¿Qué tan difícil tú crees que va a ser esto para eh, Estados Unidos? ¿Crees que avance en la siguiente ronda? I think the U.S. has done really well in preparation. You can tell that Jurgen and the players respect each other and feel confident in each other. So I'm really looking forward to seeing them start off the World Cup against Ghana um, and, you know, hopefully get ahead because Ghana has, has had the U.S. beat the last couple World Cups. So that is going to be the first and most important game for us. And I think if we can do well against Ghana, I think that we have a good chance of making it out of the group. ¿Cuál va a ser la clave para que Estados Unidos le vaya bien al mundial? I think that they really need to play together and trust in each other and trust in the coach that he's going to put the best players on the field at the right time um, and take advantage of their opportunities that are given. ¿Quién crees tú que va a ganar el mundial? I don't know. I mean, I, I'm always rooting for Spain. Um, I mean, the U.S. of course, but. Um, I, I do think the Spain is. I do think Spain is going to do well, but I also think having um, the fans of Brazil and the country of Brazil behind them, I think Brazil will perform very well, and I, I think that um, they may have an easier path to the final than other teams because they have the home advantage. Tú eres una aficionada del Barcelona. Eh, ¿Tú crees que el Barcelona va a seguir dominando el fútbol mundial, o crees que va de bajada? Well, I think. Barcelona is one of the most technical um, club teams in the world, but you can tell that uh, when you watch Champions League, there are teams that are able to defend against them. They they bunker in and they they know how to play against them defensively and then counterattack. So I think the fact that teams um, are learning how to play against them, it's leveling the playing field in that in that way. Tu novio es eh, bueno creció mucho tiempo en México. En, en, estuvo mucho en Tijuana, este, te enseñó algo de, de comida mexicana, ¿te gusta la comida mexicana? Actually, his mom is a really good cook and bakes amazing uh, Mexican desserts, so he has taught me a little bit, but his mom has taught me the most about that. <laughs> What about Spanish? Do you know a little bit? I know a little bit of Spanish. I can understand probably 50% of what you're saying, and I studied Spanish in college as well. But you lose it if you don't practice. So I need to start practicing. What can you say in Spanish? <laughs> can you say something in Spanish? Um, uh, necesito continuar practicando español. Perfect, perfect. Eh, el número 13 eh, no es muy popular en una delantera. ¿Por qué el número 13? 
I chose number 13 because Christine Lilly was number 13, and um, when I started playing club soccer around the age of 13, which is very late in um, a youth soccer player's career, uh, I, I really loved the way she played, and 13 was available on my team. And from that moment on, from when I started youth club soccer, I was 13, and to this day, I'm still number 13. Hay muchos, eh, muchos eh, niñas, muchos niños que quieren ser profesionales como tú, quieren ser una estrella de Estados Unidos también, del fútbol mundial. ¿Qué consejo le das a estos niños? I really um, want them to enjoy their time playing soccer, to have fun. Um, and there's really no secret to becoming a professional athlete. It does take a lot of hard work. I went out with my dad three times a week and did shooting on him as he was the goalkeeper. So it, it really does take a lot of hard work. But I still, to this day, love the game of soccer. And so if you really enjoy and love playing the game, then you will go far. ¿Algún mensaje que tú le quieres dar a tus aficionados del sur de California? Uh, well, I want to say thank you um, for being fans of, of myself, the Portland Thorns, and the women's national team. And um, I really hope that you continue to support us on our journey to the Women's World Cup in 2015.